So Meta has finally unleashed their Beast Llama 3.1 with a whopping 405 billion parameters. There's a ton to unpack here, especially from their research paper. First, you'll see their announcement video, and then I'll dive into all the juicy details they conveniently glossed over. Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. Today, we're excited to deliver on the long-awaited Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter model that we previewed back in April. We're also updating the 8 and 70 billion models with new, improved performance and capabilities. The 405 is hands down the largest and most capable open source model that's ever been released. It lands improvements in reasoning, tool use, multilinguality, a larger context window, and much more. And the latest benchmark numbers that we're releasing today exceed what we previewed back in April. So I encourage you to read up on the details that we've shared in our newly published research paper. Alongside the 405B model, we're releasing an updated collection of pre-trained and instruction-tuned 8B and 70B models to support use cases ranging from enthusiasts and startups to enterprises and research labs. Like the 405B, these new 8 and 70B models offer impressive performance for their size, along with notable new capabilities. Following feedback we heard loud and clear from the community, we've expanded the context window of all of these models to 128K tokens. This enables the model to work with larger code bases or more detailed reference materials. These models have been trained to generate tool calls for a few specific functions, like search, code execution, and mathematical reasoning. Additionally, they support zero-shot tool usage. Improved reasoning enables better decision-making and problem-solving. Updates to our system-level approach make it easier for developers to balance helpfulness with the need for safety. We have been working closely with partners on this release, and we're excited to share that in addition to running the model locally, you'll now be able to deploy Llama 3.1 across partners like AWS, Databricks, NVIDIA, and Grok. And it's all going live today. At Meta, we believe in the power of open source. And with today's release, we're furthering our commitment to the community. Our new models are being shared under an updated license that allows developers to use the outputs from Llama to improve other models. This includes outputs from 405B. We expect synthetic data generation and distillation to be a popular use case that enables new possibilities for creating highly capable smaller models and helping to advance AI research. Starting today, we're rolling out Llama 3.1 to Meta AI users, and we're excited to bring many of the new capabilities that Angela outlined to users across Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, and Instagram. With the release of 3.1, we're also taking the next steps towards open source AI becoming the industry standard, continuing in our commitment to a future where greater access to AI models can help ecosystems thrive and solve some of the world's most pressing challenges. We look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing what the developer community will build with Llama. So that was Meta's big reveal video, but as promised, there's a lot more to dig into. I genuinely believe this release is going to shake up the entire ecosystem. Naturally, everyone is dying to know about the benchmarks for Llama 3.1's 405 billion parameters. Spoiler alert, it's holding its own against the state of the art models. Here's a funny tidbit Gemini 1.5 Pro didn't even make the cut. Maybe it's just too superior? Anyway, Llama 3.1 shines in several categories highlighted by those handy boxes. What's mind-blowing is that this model outperforms GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet in various areas like tool use, multilingual capabilities, and the GSM-8K. Even crazier, its reasoning skills are rated at 96.9%, potentially surpassing Claude 3.5 Sonnet. However, impressive benchmarks are one thing, but human evaluation is where the rubber meets the road. After all, these models will be used by humans, and that's the true test of their effectiveness. But let's break it down a bit. Even at a glance, Llama 3.1, with its 405 billion parameters, is incredibly impressive, especially considering other models like GPT-4 allegedly have 1.8 trillion parameters. Llama 3.1 is as good as if not better than GPT-4 with a 4.5 times reduction in size. That's like fitting an elephant into a Mini Cooper and still winning the race. This opens up the possibility of running GPT-4 level models offline locally, though it might be a bit of a workout for your computer. This milestone shows a promising trajectory in balancing model size and efficiency. We might be at the dawn of a new era where powerful AI capabilities are accessible to everyone for free. Llama 3.1 also includes updated versions of their 8 billion and 70 billion parameter models, 
making them even more robust. In their respective sizes, Llama 3.1 models are currently the best you can get. For example, Google's Gemma 2 and Mistral are struggling to keep up, with Llama 3.1's 70 billion parameter model outpacing Mistral's 22 billion parameters mixture of experts and GPT-3.5 Turbo. And it's not just a slight edge Llama 3.1 is leading by a clear margin. It's like watching a gazelle outrun a herd of turtles. Meta made some design choices to keep the model development scalable and straightforward, opting for a standard decoder only transformer model architecture with minor tweaks, rather than a mixture of experts model. This approach aimed to maximize training stability and, as it turns out, made Llama 3.1 more effective. They clearly wanted to keep things simple and it worked. Interestingly, Google recently discussed a million experts model in a paper, which raises the question of whether this simpler approach will be a trend in open source models or if we'll see more complex designs moving forward. It'll be fascinating to see how this evolves. Now, diving into the research, Meta's paper also explores integrating image, video, and speech capabilities into Llama 3 using a compositional approach. So it's not just a one-trick pony, it's more like a multitasking wizard. That's absolutely wild because Meta is aiming to make this model multimodal. They mentioned that their approach performs competitively with state-of-the-art models in image, video, and speech recognition tasks. While these multimodal capabilities are still under development and not broadly released yet, the research paper hints at impressive performance. During the Llama 3.1 development process, They've been working on multimodal extensions, allowing the model to handle image recognition, video recognition, and speech understanding. Although these features are still in the works, the initial experiments are promising. Llama 3.1 Vision, for instance, shows that the model excels in vision tasks. It's like watching a Swiss army knife turn into a high-tech gadget, and it's only getting better. In some areas, Llama 3.1 even manages to surpass state-of-the-art models. The research shows that the image understanding performance of Llama 3.1's vision module is highly effective, often outperforming GPT-4 vision. For instance, in the AI2 diagram category, Llama 3.1 scores 94.1 compared to GPT-4 vision 78.2. This is particularly surprising because the initial GPT-4 vision paper highlighted how groundbreaking GPT-4 vision was. The potential use cases for Llama 3.1 as a vision assistant are mind-boggling. What's even more fascinating is that the improvement from Llama 3.1's 70 billion parameter model to its 405 billion parameter model is only marginal in terms of vision tasks. This suggests that even the smaller model is highly efficient, proving that sometimes less really is more like finding out your compact car can outperform a sports car in the city. Overall, this is fantastic news because image recognition can be quite costly. When it comes to video understanding, Llama 3.1's 70 billion parameter model impressively outperforms Gemini 1.0 Ultra, Gemini 1.0 Pro, Gemini 1.5 Pro, GPT-4V, and gpt 4 Surpassing DDR in video understanding is quite the achievement. While Gemini 1.5 Pro handles long context video understanding up to 2 million tokens, it's still remarkable that Llama 3.1, a smaller model, can compete with these giant multimodal models. Additionally, Meta's paper highlights audio conversation capabilities, showing someone having a conversation out loud, this opens up exciting possibilities for real-time audio interactions with the model. It's like watching a compact Swiss Army knife go head-to-head -head with a toolbox and holding its own. This capability is quite similar to GPT-40, the version of ChatGPT that talk to like a person. What's wild is ability to understand multiple languages through natural speech, not just text. Handling pronunciations and spoken word nuances is a significant leap for AI. Another standout feature is tool use. Llama 3.1 can describe and analyze what's in a CSV file, and it boasts a 128 token context length for handling longer sequences. The model can plot data on a time series graph and even overlay the SP500 on the same graph. This is a big deal because it demonstrates the model's proficiency in using tools to execute various tasks. Tool use is indeed the next stage for AI systems, 
paving the way for generally intelligent systems capable of performing a wide array of functions using integrated tools. It's like watching your computer turn into a Swiss army knife, complete with a graphing calculator and a multilingual dictionary. The last thing I want to leave you with is pretty mind-blowing meta states that their experience in developing Llama 3.1 suggests substantial further improvements are on the horizon. They're basically saying Llama 3.1 is just the beginning, and the best is yet to come. If you enjoyed this video and want to try Llama 3.1, head over to meta.ai if you're in America. It's the only place I know of where you can use it right now. Even with a VPN, you need an account to sign in. By the time this video is released, this might have changed, and it could be available in more regions. Within 24 hours, many platforms will likely start hosting it. So, stay tuned, enjoy experimenting with Llama 3.1, and I hope this video was useful. See you in the next one.